All right, how's it going? A very stark difference today from yesterday. Ah! Yesterday it was like 72 degrees here in Traverse City. Today it's uh, it's not that at all. It's actually um, like 19 degrees right now. And uh, yeah, I and mean, we got more more of the white stuff came back for us. So awfully kind. But it is northern Michigan. It is February, and it's just part of life. But those little teasers we get once in a while sure do make for heartbreak when it does come back to reality. So um, today we're going to be installing a set of Vance and Hines high output four and a half inch uh, slip-ons on uh, Brother Mook's uh, police edition electric glide. So um, we picked these things up. Well, he picked these up at the uh, Flint swap meet on Sunday. And uh, these things retail for like $800. He got them for like $200 or $250, something like that. But uh, he got them for a steal. So um, he's very busy. He's bought a new house and doing all sorts of work on that and going all over the place and helping me out with the ride. And I figured I would just throw these on real quick for him and, you know, make a video doing it. So he's supposed to come over on Friday and do it. We're going to smoke a cigar and drink some bourbon but and put these on. But now we're just going to smoke a cigar and drink some bourbon. So, Yeah. We'll get back at it. These bad dogs on that bad dog, it's going to be pretty cool. So we'll catch you in a bit. Bye. All right. So I, I got the right side out, but let's take a look at these things. These things are fancy. Manson Hines, four and a half inch high output, brand new, $250. So, and they're substantial. These things are pretty meaty. So, um, they kind of remind me of my my tabs I just put on. Um, the same kind of build quality, really. They're nice and thick and heavy duty. So um, one thing I did notice on these, though, is you got this bracket. And the bracket here, or the mount, I should say, is on the side. You can see your indent here. It goes against your swing arm area. So these sit like that. And then these guys go on there. I'm assuming and and go like that into the into the uh, underneath the saddlebag there. So I've never done one like that, but can't be that hard. And there is instructions, but who needs those, right? We're just going to make it fly. So I'm gonna get the bags off this thing, get the pipes out, get set up, do a quick install, come back. We'll start her up, see how she sounds. Hopefully, we'll start her up. Hopefully, the keys are here. Hmm. Either way. Easy as that. So now, like I was saying, um, this guy here, like that, will slip into the factory rubber grommet like so. And then you zippity doo da back yonder here and put the exhaust in. So that's what we're going to do. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge here because... There's that right there. That guy's pretty thick, man. It's, uh, you know, 3 sixteenths or so. Had to use a little lube. <laughs> but yeah, she's in there. Just like so. There's a little bit of a on here. So fit in tight, I like it. If it ain't tight, it ain't right. So now you just get down here like this. Insert that into there. Something like that. Little turny turn. Get that guy in place there. And voila, we're ready to throw 
this guy on the back. So now we just got to uh, get the socket out and get back here and put those screws, uh, those two screws in, rather. So pretty simple install. This is a little different, but uh, seems to be okay. So to uh, tonight's debauchery is brought to you by 1792 small batch. Pretty good stuff. Nice. All right, let's get this bracket on. I'm tired of messing around with this guy. Hey, looking for the Loctite for like 10 minutes. It was in my, my kangaroo pouch here. Such a doofus. Anyways, a little dabble, do ya? Oh, that's way too much. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, let's try to get this pig on there. <laughs> Almost forgot the most important part. You got to slip this guy into that bracket back there. Ugh. Take two. Beautiful. So the package that comes with the Vance and Hines uh, high outputs, this uh, nut up here that connects the, the header to the slip on, is a 9 sixteenths, um, like the Harleys have. This is a 5 eighths. So save yourself some frustration. Get that out first. But yeah, she's on. On to the next side. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like butter. I like butter. Beautiful. I'll have to make quick work of this. Wife just came out and said, I'm going to bed, which is 21 years of marriage of saying, shut the fuck up. I'm going to bed. So we're going to get this on. Hopefully the keys are in it. I can start it up real quick, and we'll put all this other stuff back together tomorrow. But I at least want to get the exhaust on. All right, so bike's off the lift. She's installed. I'm going to flip you around. Good Lord. So bike's off the lift. That's a crazy angle. Anyways, bike's off the lift. Handy to have one of those. It's even more handier to remember that you have one of those. But uh, everything's put back on. I'm going to wait till tomorrow to put the bags back on and the other heat shield on the other side. I had to get off. But, uh, yeah, let's see how she sounds. Now, I realize the microphone probably drowned that out quite a bit, but those things sound amazing. His old pipe sounded really, really good, too. Um, he still has the stock header, but uh, those sound really nice. So, yeah, and they look good, too. I actually like that, uh, all that. That looks, that looks nice. So, anyways, it's kind of late. I'm sure I really upset the wife <laughs> with that one. But uh, it's fine. It's fine. So we'll uh, we'll put everything back on tomorrow. We'll get Brother Mook over here on Friday. You know, I'm not going to tell him that I did this at all. So um, he's either going to be really pissed off or really happy. So we'll see what happens. Either way, it's cool, right? All right, we'll catch you guys in a little bit.
They sound so much better than the Vance and Hines I had on there. Yeah, they sound so, really good. And they look better. Easy, kind of different install too with uh, having these brackets on there was a little different. Yep. But I do end up liking it. I just don't know, like we talked about earlier, about if you had uh, lower or uh, extended bags, how you would adjust them to fit inside the hole. But hey. not bad. I mean, nope. and this was the easiest pull off of a pipe I've ever done. Yeah. So looks good, man. Glad you're happy. Yeah. Thank you. You got her. Thank Thanks you. for coming over and let me do it. Oh, yeah.